episode 7 titled moving on up seems like it's going to focus on andy what's good y'all it's your good sis erica van coming to you with the episode 7 synopsis breakdown and i haven't done these for my sister's videos just yet but i figured i would once i came across this little mini synopsis we can't even call it a full synopsis because they literally are giving us a sentence but i do these with my all american videos if you haven't already or if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit subscribe it's your girl erica van right here on erica van tv breaking down all of the hottest in television and film your number one source for sisters your number one source for all american and i'm covering quite a few other shows as well if any of these shows on screen right now tickle your fancy and you absolutely love then you're definitely going to want to subscribe and check out my breakdown character details and more content on each of those shows i'm also on all of your favorite social media sites so follow me on twitter at ericavane.com over on TikTok, doing these little quick reactions, as well as giving you montages and other really cool content on Instagram, giving you the 411 in the moment, and also on Facebook but all at ericavane.com. Be sure to follow me, hit me up. I do respond. And then also make sure you jump in the comment section of this video and let me know what you think. Without further ado, the synopsis for episode seven of season four of Sisters is moving on up. That's the title. Andy is forced to look at her current relationships and make some hard choices. All right, y'all. So from this one sentence, I think that this is going to be the episode where Andy is gifted the penthouse. And just by the way that we've seen this season play out, I definitely think that Gary is the one who's going to purchase the penthouse apartment in or the penthouse condo in Andy's building. Right now, she's not living in a penthouse. She's living in a regular luxury condo. But I do believe that Gary is the one that's going to buy it for her. Because if we remember, we go back to when he gifted her the Rolls Royce and she was saying she didn't want it. It was over. He was talking about he wanted a second chance he's going to fight for her and this is not it like he gave her the Rolls Royce with the million dollars worth of clothes and jewels in the back seat and he literally said this isn't it if you need a refresher let's go back to that scene real quick I don't care what it takes and this ain't all I've got all right I got a lot more you think that I care about designers I don't care about that I'm gonna earn you back yes so that happened, and that is one of the things that really leads me to believe that it's Gary. Gary buys the penthouse. And while Andy is playing coy right now, I'm recording this video right after episode four. So she hasn't fully accepted the Rolls Royce. They just took the little joy ride in which Gary had those fake police officers pull her and Karen over, being real aggressive and rude at the start of it, only to start singing a stupid ditty about how he wants her back and how sorry he is. That Andy happens to think is romantic and it's actually not so she technically hasn't taken it but kind of is considering it we saw through episode four when she was getting ready to go to work she was like stroking the car talking about how nice it was and Karen interrupts her little thought process and tells her not to get in the car in that moment and ultimately she chooses to go ahead and get in her own car she hasn't fully accepted the Rolls Royce but I definitely think that she is going to accept this penthouse which is going to create a little bit of complications right because I do think that she can accept the penthouse without accepting Gary back as long as his name is not on this paperwork. He said that he gave her the Rolls Royce and the Rolls Royce was in her name and her name alone. So if he does the same thing for the penthouse, then I will say go ahead and take it. But if Gary's name is on that penthouse, Andy, you don't move a box, honey. You don't even lift a finger because this is not, no, this is not what we're doing. And no, don't get it twisted, y'all, because even if she takes this penthouse, I don't think that she should need to take Gary back. But by golly, Miss Molly, that, this could be part of the down payment towards all the pain and trauma that you put her through over the course of this last well since the season started before the series started because child we don't even know how long it's been since the series started because Tyler Perry and timelines we ain't gonna go there but she definitely I think in this episode is going to accept the penthouse but it's going to be a little bit of complications because she is still pursuing Robin in episode four while she was trying to figure out how she was going to call Gary and thank him after she told Karen that she wasn't going to call him she sent up there thinking about going back and forth rehearsing her lines matter of fact let's go ahead and watch that scene of the clip from that scene real quick thank you for the rolls royce gary no thank you for all the things that exactly but she's interrupted in that moment by robin 
who makes her feel good, remind her of their moment or their night that they spent together, reassures her that he doesn't have any other women with him and that he's actually focusing on her. And that is how this is going to get complicated because after she gets off the phone with Robin, she's like, oh, okay, I'm not calling Gary now for sure. And you can see she's still feeling butterflies around Robin. And I wonder how Robin would respond to the idea that she's moving into this penthouse that her, her ex bought her. Now, again, Robin it has been interestingly calm about Andy and this whole Gary decoupling and her, you know, running back and forth and can't really figure it out or whatever. He's been cool with it. Even with, in episode four, he mentions Gary, but he doesn't mention Gary to the point of like, oh, it's a deal breaker for him. But I wonder if her choosing to move into the penthouse would be, or if he would have something up his sleeve and in his plans once he knows about it because one thing that he doesn't know yet as he's on a plane back to London to meet with the clients he doesn't know that she was gifted with this Rolls Royce and million dollars and stuff and, and gifts or whatever and he is also a very rich and affluent person so he could also come with his own well like you really don't need any of this because I could buy you this 10 times over that's where I would pose the question to y'all what do y'all think one do you think that Andy is going to accept the penthouse from Gary Two, do you think that Robin is going to find a problem with her accepting the penthouse if she chooses to do so? Do you think Robin is going to shower her with gifts himself? And ultimately, who do you think Andy is going to choose, Robin or Gary? Let me know that and more if you have questions, thoughts, or other feelings in the comment section down below. Again, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. If you want to jump into a little bit of Fatima talk, then let's talk about her flaws in this video right here. Go ahead and click it, it's on screen. And if you want to know if Zach is about to propose to Fatima, then click this video right here.